Hello there, and welcome to the Skills Team's Top 5 Tips for Referencing. So, in this video, I'm going to be discussing some of the general tips and advice that we have for referencing. However, I will also be pointing out some other further places that you can go to for more in-depth information. But for now, let's get right into it. So, being organised is absolutely crucial for referencing. When you're doing your work, the last thing that you want to happen to you is that you cannot find that quote. You know, the quote that makes your argument. There's nothing more frustrating than losing your research or being unable to find it. We recommend organising your research and noting down all the reference information so you don't lose it when you need it. If you add this information into a structure, you can actually have it more easily accessible and on hand when you're writing so that you won't lose your focus and you'll stay in the zone. The university also gives students access to a programme called EndNote. We have a video on our channel telling you all about how to use EndNote, but essentially EndNote is a reference management software which can help you organise your references and really help you because you'll know exactly where your information is and you'll ensure that you won't lose any. Referencing takes lots of time, so being organised can save you the time when you're creating your reference list. As referencing takes time, make sure to actually plan time for yourself to do your referencing. If you rush when you're doing your referencing, then you can easily make mistakes. So be calm, give yourself the time and take care so that you can give it the attention to detail that it needs. A third piece of advice is be positive. If you think about the positive reasons behind why you reference, this can actually make it easier to do it and can help you give it the time that it does actually need. There are many reasons that underpin why we actually reference. When asked why we reference, the usual response that I receive is to avoid plagiarism and also to not commit an academic offence. Whilst these are really good reasons for why we do reference, there are other positive reasons that are more beneficial to ourselves. Crucially, referencing has many positive reasons, such as when you're referencing, this is where you can evidence your wider reading, something often associated with the first. Any time spent referencing is also time spent showing off that journal that you use or the book that you read and showing those arguments in your work. Referencing also highlights where you support your own argument with authority and proves to the marker that you actually have done your research and used real sources. So remember, when referencing, think about the reasons why you're doing it and make sure to give it the time it needs. With referencing, the devil is in the detail. Therefore, we recommend that you're thorough and check each reference before you submit your assignment. Double check your spellings, double check your links, and double check any dates that you've included. Especially, check that your reference includes everything that it needs to and is in the right order. This is crucial to do when you have used a reference making software rather than making the references yourself. Whilst we don't advise using reference making software, if you do choose to use one, be cautious that the information that you, is included is in the right order and fits the reference style and that you have actually included everything that you need to include. Check this information and to find out what the information is that you do need, you cite them right, but more on that later. If you are unsure of the order that you need to reference your work in, or if you can't find the information on Cite Them Right, it is better to be consistent than it is to change how you reference a given source throughout your essay. Be consistent with how you reference it. When something is different, for example, this slide not having an image, it sticks out. So, be consistent with your referencing style and the information you give. Finally, is a bonus piece of advice, there are lots of resources out there that can help you with referencing. Crucially, we would recommend using Cite Them Right. If you're new to what Cite Them Right is, we have a video explaining how to use it linked in the description of this video. Essentially though, Cite Them Right is an information bank with information on how to cite and reference nearly any source type. I have currently not found a source that I've not been able to reference using Cite Them Right so far. Cite Them Right also has a great tool 
that allows you to create a reference that you can copy and paste into your work. It has all the punctuation already there and is in a standard form and all you need to do is change the words. So check out the video for more information about that and also definitely check out Cite Them Right. Secondly, we also have a podcast available where the skills team answer the questions that we usually get about referencing. So the typical questions that students have, we try and answer them. So check that out, that is the assignment journey part 6, all about referencing and proofreading and it'll be available in the cards and description of this video. Finally, we also run online workshops about referencing, so check out the EYL calendar in the description of this video to see where our next referencing workshop is. That's all for this top tips video, however if you are interested in more videos, go and check out the other top tips videos in the playlist, or check out some of our other content on our YouTube channel. That's all for now though, thank you very much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed.